Hello and welcome to the unknownpoker.com review of Poker Stove. Poker Stove is a Texas Hold'em hand calculator and although there are a lot of hand calculators out on the market this particular program does something that most of them don't. Most programs require you to input your particular hand and the particular hand that your opponent has and that's difficult because usually you don't know your opponent's cards. Instead you're usually able to put your opponent on a range of hands and Poker Stove allows you to do just that. So I wanted to bring this up and talk about it for a little bit. It's a powerful program, but unfortunately it's not drag and drop. It's not immediately apparent what to do and, and how to get the information out of it. So I thought I'd put this together. And let's start with a simple scenario. I am player one. So let me click on player one and input a hand for myself. Say I have the Red Kings. So we will choose King of Diamonds and the King of Hearts. I will come down here and click OK. And you can see in the text box that now player one is given the value of a King of Diamonds, King of Hearts. Bad guy in the hand, let's put some information in for him. Unfortunately, I don't know exactly what he has. So I won't be inputting anything from the Cards tab. Instead, click over here on the Preflop tab. So click on that, and that opens up a brand new world of possibilities. Let's say in this particular situation, the bad guy might have aces, he may reasonably have kings, or up here I'll click on ace-king suited. Now, ace-king suited means he can have clubs, diamonds, hearts, or spades. And we'll come down here. You may not be able to see this too clearly, but if you have the program, and it's available at pokerstove.com, it's free. You have to download it, but it's probably well worth the time invested to do that. He can have clubs because I have a red king he cannot have diamonds now these buttons are already pre-selected they're pushed down for you so I'm gonna click on this and it's gonna virtually pop the button up kind of so it this particular hand will be taken out of the pool of hands the player may have he cannot have the uh, ace king of hearts because I have the king of hearts so I'm gonna remove that as well I'm gonna push this button and uh, pop it up and I will click OK and we're gonna see how this works out. Alright, let's go up here to the range of hands that we have for player two. We have KK plus, so that's kings or aces. Ace, king of clubs. Ace, king of spades, so that's good. Those are the hands that we wanted to put them on. So let's uh, click evaluate and we'll find out where we sit in this situation. It happens that fast. So the program has run roughly 15 million variations of this and we find out that my equity in this situation is 32 percent and it states up here you get this nice little color coded thing as well the bad guy's equity in this situation 67 percent so it looks like I'm significantly behind but after thinking about the hand for a little bit I think that I can widen his range uh, to include Queens so let's click on player two and I would like to add Queens into the mix click on Queens and then say okay here we go with that double check now it says Queen Queen plus that's good it worked the way I wanted it to and let's re-evaluate so I will click it and now things have changed significantly I'm ahead although slightly it's still a coin flip situation but you can see how you can get good information about a hand using what you know about yours and what you feel the range of hands that you can put your opponent on. Uh, so I'd like to, uh, let's clear this, I'd like to just show a quick example of what to do when you're inputting, let's say, ASK offsuit. When you do that, obviously there are more choices, there are more combinations where you can have ASK offsuit than suited, and here they all are. This would be Ace of Diamonds, King of Clubs, Ace of Hearts, King of Clubs, and once again you have to deselect these buttons they're already pre-selected for you so if it's a hand that you would not be able to put your opponent on you click that and it will take it out of the mix and so let's say there are no spades involved in the hand where I would put my opponent on I'm deselecting every possible combination that includes spade I'll click OK and if we check up here uh, clubs and diamonds, clubs and hearts, diamonds and clubs, diamonds and hearts, hearts and clubs, and none of it includes spades, so it all worked out properly for us. So it's a powerful program, and hopefully now with just this uh, simple walkthrough, you'll be able to see how you can input the information, and I would suggest if you're serious about 
studying uh, particular hands and equity situations involved, uh, download it. It's free. PokerStove.com. Uh, I hope this was of some help.